Hey everyone, life has been a blur since we returned to the US 10 weeks ago. We completed a 22,000 mile journey from Northern Alaska down to the border of Guatemala and released weekly videos all along the way. But we know some of you are wondering, what exactly did we do on our way back north from the Guatemala border? Well, being our chief travel engineer, Kendrick plans our travel on a shared iPhone note. And when I finally took a look at that note, I noticed that he slyly slipped in two hikes up some crazy intense volcanoes. I mean, intense to me anyway. Perks of being a travel agent, right? First of which was a hike up the 14,640 foot dormant volcano La Malinche. We had spent the last month splashing around on the beaches of Mexico's Pacific coast, obviously at sea level. So first, it was time for a much needed altitude adjustment. We headed to the city of Oaxaca for a few days to remember what an elevation of 5,000 feet feels like. And what better way to acclimate than a craft beer tour and sightseeing around the city? Well, I guess 5,000 feet felt good enough, so we kept heading up. We made our way up to 10,200 feet at Malinche National Park for a night. The next day, we planned to hike up to the summit of 14,640 foot La Malinche. Finding a campsite wasn't exactly difficult. We were the only campers in the entire park that night. When researching this campground, we had read a lot of reviews about stray dogs being in the park. I kind of figured everybody was just exaggerating. Turns out, they weren't. There were several dogs roaming around just foraging in the trash cans for food, but they all seemed nice enough. However, off in the distance, we could always hear the sounds of big dog bites, which was a little bit alarming. There was one black dog with a limp that seemed happy staying near us. I fed him for a while, then went inside, and when I came back out, he had settled for a nap onto our camper welcome mat. We weren't sure how long it would take to summit La Malinche, so we left pretty early at 5.30 a.m. All right, bye-bye, doggies. When we left the camper, we were immediately swarmed by at least 10 dogs. They all just seemed to want to play, and we were the only ones awake. But as we walked away from the camper in the dark, we heard an ear-piercing yelp and turned around to see what it was. Unfortunately, we turned around to see that adorable black dog from our welcome mat being torn to pieces by five to ten other dogs. Our first reaction was to go help it, but we knew if we did that, that we'd have the same fate as that poor black dog. Needless to say, it was a pretty sad way to start our hike. The first few miles of our hike left us questioning our decision to keep going. We are starting our hike up La Melinche, and we have this wild pack of dogs following us, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit. A pack of 15 to 20 dogs followed along, nipping and barking at each other the entire time. I'll admit, the thought of all of these dogs turning on us was always in the back of my mind. We're about two miles up the trail. It was the easy two miles, and now we're going to start the uphill. And, good news, I think we've pared it down to about six dogs following us, and they all seem to get along. That's good. <laughs> our pack eventually dwindled down to just three. These dogs were all sweethearts and stayed by our sides all day long. And of course, I had to name them. We had Foxy, because she looked like a fox, Dopey, because he acted like a dope, and our personal favorite, Mama Bear, who we wanted to keep so badly, but we just couldn't. We just made it to the little mini summit before the big summit and it's so pretty out here I'm gonna stop and get my camera out take some pictures
little less than a thousand feet left to the top of La Malinche. And we'll see if our dog companions decide to join us. You gonna make it up there, Mama Bear? The summit of La Malinche was a milestone for both of us. It was the highest point either one of us have ever hiked to, being over 200 feet higher than our previous record, Mount Elbert in Colorado. Hello from 14,600 feet in Mexico. Yay. It was great. We didn't see one single person on the way up, which really surprised us. Even though it's a Monday, I still thought we'd see somebody. Yeah. A lot of dogs. And it is beautiful. So pretty. Sadly, one thing I couldn't help but notice was the obvious disregard for taking care of natural places. There were several memorials, loads of graffiti, and the summit was covered in trash. As we were taking in the peace on the summit, the clouds started to roll in and we could tell it was time to get going. We hit some weather on the way down. Even though I was freezing as grapple came down on us, Kendrick has taught me to enjoy all that Mother Nature brings us and to never get in a careless rush to escape bad conditions. Fun. For some reason, I've always just loved cold, snowy, windy, just generally crappy weather when I'm out in the mountains. I just tend to put a big smile on my face and keep moving forward. Thanks for coming along with us. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to watch our upcoming adventure that takes us even higher. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Mandy Lee Photo. So here's to climbing to our highest heights. Love and light. The first of which was a hike up 14,640. was a hike up the hike up the was a hike up the 14,640 foot was a hike up the six, 16,564 seven. You're ridiculous for that. I